Hey guys, today we're in Symmetry Bay. It's a community in Cadence uh, by DR Horton, and uh, we'll be proving two homes anywhere from 17, 15 square feet to up to 18, 65 square feet. And right now they only have two models on display. Uh, unfortunately, the smaller one at 17, 15 is uh, not available for us to preview. Uh, but they do have three, four plans. Each of the homes do have four different elevations that you could pick from, meaning you could change how the, the front of the, the home looks. So there's four different options for that on each model. Uh, currently the HOA is at $50 a month, no sitting lids, and the average lot size for these homes is around 3,000 square feet. And also there is, you could pick a premium lot depending if it's like a corner or uh, an oversized lot. But for your more, more standard lots, they're gonna be at 3,000 square feet. And they currently do have 110 homes that they will be building in this community. They currently sold 18 homes already. So enough of me talking, let's go take a look. So the first home we're gonna look at is the 1795. And uh, that one is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. Right now it's currently the office. And you'll get these pavers in your entryway. And guys, also keep in mind, what you see in this house is pretty much what you're gonna get. With the exception of the, the cabinets, you can either pick from white and gray, but we'll cover that once we get inside. As soon as you come in, you do got the staircase to your left. And also you do have half a bathroom as well downstairs. And you do have your 18 by 18 standard tile and you do have nine foot walls downstairs. Keep in mind, keep in mind guys, uh, downstairs is nine feet. Upstairs is gonna be eight feet. So you do got your living area right here. Pretty, you know, the pretty standard size. I would say it's not too big, not too small. I think it's uh, perfect for, for someone that's looking for a starter home. This would be perfect. You got your dining room area right here. Okay. Let's go to the kitchen. So the island is about, I would say it's an eight by four island. Um, you got your undermount sink, stainless steel faucet with your, also with the osmosis system, already uh, pre-installed. You got your gas uh, stove, microwave. And this comes, and guys, with the DR Horan, keep in mind, you will be getting the refrigerator, washer and dryer included. So you don't have to worry about it. Oh, and also the blinds. So huge bonus if you don't have a ton of cash to move in and spend money on those uh, expenses on the, when you move in. Right here you do, you don't have a backsplash, but you do have a four inch backsplash and they covered it with wallpaper. You won't be getting this wallpaper guys, so keep that in mind. And the cabinets, they're about uh, 30 inch in height. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you're either gonna get the white or the gray. And for this model right here, we do have the gray. And let me know in the comments below what you, what you would prefer, the gray or the white. So you do got your refrigerator here and it is, I don't know, I think it's in a little awkward spot, I would say. I don't know, you know, say you have your refrigerator open, kind of do have a walkway that kind of messes things up, but I would prefer the refrigerator a little bit more that way, but this is what you get. We do have the garage right over here, but we're not gonna access that because that is the current sales office. And right behind me, we do have a storage. Let me show you the pantry. It's right over here. You do have it with your like French door style, stack shelving, good size pantry. So with the backyard, this is pretty much what you're gonna get, the standard lot. It's about 3,000 square feet. Let's see if we could access it real quick. I mean, just to give you a rough idea, I would say it's probably about 15 feet from the house to the back of the, to the fence. So if you want something that's low maintenance, this is a nice yard for you. Okay, let's uh, head up upstairs. Guys, uh, let me know in the comments what you think so far of this house. This is something you could picture yourself living in or you need something a little smaller or bigger. Let me know in the comments below. Let's 
See if I don't run out of breath, guys. So don't mind the, uh, the hard breathing if I am breathing hard. Okay, so when you walk up to the right, you do have your laundry room area. You do have your washer and dryer. Awesome, already does have a pan. And you get these uh, shelves that are pre-built for storage. You do have a tile in the wet areas. You will get the, a standard 18 by 18 tile. And you will get this, the carpet. You won't get tile in these. Only in the wet area in your house, like your kitchen, your downstairs, and bathrooms, laundry room. Do you have uh, granite countertops, dual sink. Now, this is pretty awesome how you just walk in through the middle and go right into your walk-in closet. Good size. And then the shower, stand-up shower. You do have the prefab installed. It does have a bench. Let's go take a look at the other bedroom, guys. Also, if you're not subscribed to, to my channel and would like to know more about new builds that are available now or upcoming, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to tap that uh, bell notification. That way you're the first to learn about new builds and everything there is about Las Vegas. Okay, so here we got the second bedroom. Pretty standard size. I would say it's probably about 11 by 11. Here's the third bedroom. Also a decent size as well. Probably the same size as the other one. And this one does face the front. So you do get the front view with this bedroom. You do have your closet. And the upstairs hallway bathroom. Full bath. Got your prefab, granite countertops. This one does have a single sink. I wish it would have been double, but single. And you do got your tile as well in here. Now let's look at the last and fourth bedroom. They are almost pretty much all the same size, I would say. Not one room seemed bigger than the other. So, I mean, there we have it with this home, guys. Let me know what you think. If it's, you know, quick recap, it's a 1795 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home with two car garage. Now, if you want something a little bigger, let's go look at the next one. So, hey guys, uh, the next one we got is uh, 1865 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home with a two car garage. And this one also, guys, keep in mind, like I mentioned earlier, you have four different elevations to pick from. So, with meaning that again, it's you'll get a different the front will look different. Some will have the tile, some won't, different color. So keep that in mind. So let's take a look inside, guys. Also, you do get the, the entry, entryway with pavers. And also with this house, uh, I don't know if you, like I like to picture myself living in it. So if I, when I, let's say I walk out, I'll, I will see the neighbors right there, the front entry. Also, these homes are equipped with what they call smart homes. You'll get your uh, smart doorbell uh, key lock uh, pad for your, uh, your door lock. You also have uh, a smart AC control. So let's take a look. And this is to give you a rough idea of the average of what you would spend on your electricity bill. So as soon as you walk in, pretty much run into the living area. Pretty open floor pan as soon as you walk in. Also don't wanna miss this uh, coat closet real quick. Nine foot ceilings, you get your standard 18 by 18 tile. Yes, you'll get a ceiling fan. You'll get this ceiling fan if you purchase a home. This island is definitely smaller than the one we've seen. You do get the granite countertops, but this is, you'll get, this one is a six by four uh, island. So a little bit smaller, which is a little bigger, but still nice. You do got your undermount sink, stainless steel faucet, your osmosis. Dining room area, decent size, enough to fit six people. I think that's uh, probably the max you could go in that dining area. And this is the white, guys. So before we looked at the gray, now this is the white to give you an actual look of what color would you prefer. Let me know in the comments what you would prefer, the white or the gray. And also, just like the other one, you do have granite countertops with the four inch backsplash, but 
Don't let this fool you guys. This is wallpaper. You will not get this wallpaper. So something to keep in mind. Refrigerator is included in this one. And right here you do got your uh, dishwasher. And you get these cool um, stainless steel handles with these uh, cabinets in. Gas stove. And let's take a look at right over here. So here to your left, you do have uh, storage and use that as a pantry as well. Then you do have half bath downstairs. So yeah, so this is a little weird, like, you know, say somebody's using the restroom and you want to get some out of your pantry, it's going to definitely uh, interfere. So that's something to keep in mind, even like right here, still not wide enough. I don't know. It's just, you know, me being a big guy, it's, I feel like I barely fit in here. So if you're a big guy, something to keep in mind. So let's take a look at the backyard, just like your other one before this. This is a 3,000 square feet lot. It's about... 15 feet from the wall or to the house to the wall to give you a, a rough idea of uh, how big this space is. So if I expand out, you know, I, I have about four feet on each side. Let's go upstairs, guys. Come on in. So let me know in the comments what you think of this one so far. Um, do you like this one so far or the previous one we just viewed? Let me know in the comments. Now let's go upstairs and let's not run out of breath. You do have those windows right up there letting in that natural lighting. So as soon as you walk upstairs, you go straight into the loft. Decent size, make it a game room, movie room, different options. You do have these two windows as well. It's pretty cool to let in that natural lighting. If you guys missed it, you also have two windows in front. So if we go this way, you do have the laundry room, washer and dryer, tile and laundry room, all wet areas, you'll get tile. And, and guys, these do come with the house. Not a lot of builders do that, but DR Horton does. So something to keep in mind. So you got your stack shelving just for extra storage. And let's go to the primary room. Decent size. I mean, you can see this. This is about a king size bed. Still have plenty of room on the left and right side. And even up here in the front. Windows are facing the front of the house. So you got that nice uh, front view. These ceilings are about eight feet tall. So I wish it were nine, but they are eight feet tall. You got tile in the primary. You do have your dual sink with granite countertops. And these are not soft clothes, guys. A toilet. You got your stand-up shower it's, uh, with the prefab installed. I wish it would have just gone a little higher just because, especially right here when you're taking a shower, over time, it's going to splash and get wet right here. And you will get that mold build up over time. So something to keep in mind to upgrade. So you got your uh, linen closet. Check out this walk-in closet, guys. Nice size. I know me personally could just take up this side. But you ladies, probably this is still not enough. So let me know in the comments if you can fit your stuff in here. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the house. So as soon as you got, you got your loft and you walk this side of the house, to the left you do have uh, your hallway full bath. So you got your tile, granite countertops. This is a, with a single sink tub, stand-up shower, and you don't have the private toilet in this one. Wish it would have been more private, but okay. So right here, you pretty much have all the rest of the bedrooms, like right literally next door to each other. So you got this one right here. We'll start off with this one. Your standard size, I would say probably 10 by 10, 11 by 11. No bigger than that. You got your closet. Then as soon as you come out, quick right, and you're to the next room. So I don't know if you have kids and they fight, like, I don't know if having them too close would be a good option, but just wanted to give you a real look at how these uh, bedrooms are set up. Then also, <laughs> once you come over here, right, right, right away again, now the, pretty much all the rooms feel the same size, 10, 10 by 10, 11 by 11. You do have carpet throughout the whole upstairs, so you'll only get tile in the wet areas, so keep in mind. If you found value and like the content that you're seeing, do me a favor, uh, like this channel, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. That way you're notified as soon as we upload some new homes or things about Las Vegas. Till next time, guys.